Scotty, beat me up. Welcome to the Geek Den, everybody. We got Kenny F here. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Another Canadian, man. Yes, that's blew true. Our mind. Yeah, it blew our minds. <laughs> found out before going on the I air. Am, I am in Ontario, Canada. Uh, it's fucking freezing here. <laughs> I can say fucking on this show, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? You can say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Okay. We don't have no rules. Just making sure. Yep. But yeah, like for the last two days, my nuts have basically almost been inside my stomach <laughs> every time I step out the door. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not happy I'm, about it. I'm, cur- I'm currently <laughs> wearing two pairs of pajama pants. No. Yeah. It is so yeah. fucking cold outside. It's yeah. 10 degrees Where are you located? Wait, I'm in central Pennsylvania. And I'm in northeast. I'm like close to Philly. Okay. You're not too, too far south. Yeah, no, we're not far from you. Yeah. Probably further from you than you are from them. That just blew my mind. (laughs) 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 A lot of mind blowing going on. Fucking bush leading up here. Sorry, boys. (laughs) This fucking plus two degrees Celsius, it's got me wonky. Next time we see him, he's going to have like... What's that? It was like that here, and and now it's not. It's just just fucking cold. (laughs) And and angry cold, too. Yeah. It's like Great (laughs) Lakes cold. Yeah. It's not cold. Yeah, it feels like Lake Erie is right outside my door right now. Yep. I'm actually not far from Lake Erie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just right on the other side of the border. Yep. Yeah, I like... I'm basically Brantford. Oh, okay. Ontario. All right. Okay. So we can stand at the other end of the lake and be like, Ken! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's that lake effect, you know, bullshit. But yeah, I'm not far from Erie. Right? I'm actually right off the Grand River, which runs oh, okay. into Erie. Yep. Yeah. Grand River. Huh, I just learned about that. That's huh, the Grand River in Canada. The Rio Grande in Mexico. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure it's that one in particular. <laughs> it's Grand River in Canada is where the Six Nations Iroquois moved after the American Revolution. What what he said. Yeah. yeah. He's our local historian. Yes. That's, that's about as much as I'm going to say. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's a man of few words. Do, do we get a fact checker for this guy or do we just take his word for it? <laughs> He's usually doing his own fact checking as he's talking about the shit. So that always said fact check another one's gonna come on right up, up, right up underneath. <laughs> we have determined this episode is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck that Albertan's still full of shit. <laughs> Let me guess, fucker. You have a lifted dodge with nuts hanging off the hitch. <laughs> Busted. Oh, that that <laughs> explains that he's an Oilers thing. fan. Fucker. <laughs> 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 edit that part out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. you've been in the studio lately. Have we seen? Yes. Yeah, the uh, another rainbow, another rainbow EP is out. Uh, it's been out for a few months. I think, not really sure. Uh. But yeah, it's uh, five tracks. 
Uh, it was supposed to be a little longer, but I kind of went over budget on uh, <laughs> on Misfortune Teller. See, I got in my head that I wanted to do this this drum line for it, mm. and I'm rusty on drums. I haven't fucking played drums in so fucking long. I don't know why I got this idea in my head, but I did. And I went down and I picked up this fucking this this box unit thing. It's a percussion instrument. I just don't know what the fuck it's actually called. <laughs> So I take this thing in there and I run it a couple of times and I hate both times I did it. So then we delete that. I go back in with it. I do something else and we mix it. We mix it in studio. And this is after I've been fucking around with it for a little, a little while, you know, I, I've pissed away hundreds of dollars on this track already wasted hours of studio time fucking around. <laughs> so I'm getting fed up at this point. And uh, we run this track through, um, I like what I, the idea I had behind it, but we, we processed it, we mixed it, and we listened to it a few times in studio through the speaker. And then by the time we got done listening to it, proofing it a couple of times, I said, you know what, just throw it out, fuck it. Well, that was my mistake. Because <laughs> I got home, and, and through the speakers, I swear to you, it sounded pretty good. And I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. And even when I listened through it through the cell phone speaker, I'm like, yeah, I'm digging this. But I put the headphones on, I'm like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. What have I done? <laughs> no, no, no. Retract that. Take it out. <laughs> so we ended up, I ended up wasting all this studio time for a drum line I didn't even fucking use. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking said, fuck this. Pull that track out. Re-release it without the drums. And that's what we did. Nice. Hey. You know, it's trial and error, though. Right? Yes, it really was. And maybe and, if I fucked around with it a little more, but, you know, it was really starting to run up the bill. So, yeah. yeah, I just had to pull the plug on the whole drum idea and say, you know what? Just release it. Acoustic vocals, the way I've been doing the other ones. Fuck it. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. 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 I don't know why I just got this idea in my head. And, <laughs> you know, I probably will get ideas in my head again. Yeah. Mm. And they'll come back to bite you in the ass as well. Sometimes. Well, Sometimes they do. Anyway. Yeah, but you, yeah, you will have those good ones that do stick. So yeah. yeah, it's not all bad. No, for the most part, it was a pretty regiment routine. I'd go in with my basics, my uh, my rhythm line, which I do on my acoustic guitar and my vocals, and we'd run that, and then I'd take that back to the house. I'd sit up with my, grab my acoustic guitar, give it a listen through the headphones and just come up with little lead bits that I want to add to it to give it a little more pop, a little more dynamic, I guess. And then I go back, record those. And then the engineer, Franco there, he would do the final mix and that was it. That was pretty much the process for it all, except for that whole drum fiasco. <laughs> I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about that because I've been in bands where not necessarily in a studio setting, but like my buddy's basement or something, he's just doing us a favor or something. Yeah. But we'll be like, okay, try to do a fill there. And then you try something and it just sounds fuck awful and you yeah. keep trying it over and over again <laughs> and you can't ever figure it out. So you just say, fuck it. You just feel like you wasted so much fucking time that you could have been doing something else. Yeah, that, that's basically what it all came down to. It's just like, you know, after all that, I'm not even going to use this fucking drum line. It's just, <laughs> fuck. But yeah, it was a learning experience. Mm -hmm. I, I learned that I'm not going to use that fucking instrument in the studio ever again. <laughs> <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> no more drums. No, just not that fucking set. Not that yeah. fucking thing. Definitely, yeah. definitely not using that thing again. Yeah. It's, it's okay to dick around on, but not in a studio setting. Just, yeah. No, it just yeah. did not work. <laughs> and so I'm not blaming... Oh, it was ahead. my own go fault ahead. for not reviewing it through the headphones like I usually do. Yeah. Because mm. you get a completely different sound <laughs> as opposed to when it's out here. And yeah. when it's right in your ears, right? It, yeah. It's, it's a different dynamic. Yep. Like even even a even the vocals sound different. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I you found, gotta really true. Yeah. Yeah. I found in my experience, like the two best ways to check 
like a recording to see if it sounds good is either through headphones or in a car stereo. Car stereo is good. Um, anywhere that's kind of confined. Headphones definitely best for. I use those basically as my vocal mm. for my vocals the most. Mm-hmm. And then you got to kind of just listen through it from all different ways too, because sometimes you'll hear something through your headphones, like you'll add a lead riff and you can hear it clearly through your headphones, but you put it through a speaker and you can't fucking hear it. Yeah. Then you got to kind of try and mix it so that you can hear it through both. Yeah. It's yeah. That's more or less like what Franco was doing. He he was the, I I don't know if you'd call him a producer, just the, the guy mixing the levels, you know what I mean? Yeah. As far yeah. as the production goes, I pretty much just came up with all the parts and put them in myself. So yeah. I guess I was the producer of it. <laughs> Go for awesome. it. We'll, we'll give you both credit. <laughs> I guess. It's a team effort. Yeah. Yeah, it's a team effort. It's yeah. a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I didn't really know his gear, so it was kind of like, you know, I got to just let him do his thing. I just kind of proof it. You're like, you know, can you maybe, you know, Tweak that mm-hmm. a little bit, make that a go up. Oh, yeah, that's about all I could do. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's like a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And somehow they always know what you're talking about. Somehow, like, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you tell them to complete nonsense, and they're just like, oh yeah, here. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'm that's sure. exactly what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he, I'm sure he gets a little frustrated with me too, because I'd be like, I'd run through a part, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to lay like a little bit of a lead to something. And I'll be like, no, 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 that, that's no good. I want to do it again. And he's looking at me like, dude, what was wrong with that? <laughs> but no, I, did, I didn't feel it. I'm trying to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded okay. funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't like it. Do it again. <laughs> Under his breath, I don't know. I could do it again. <laughs> yeah. I, I like said it. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, dude. It sounded good. No, it didn't. No, no it, it, didn't, it didn't feel right. What are you talking about? <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Just imagine everybody in the studio sitting there like on edge, having cigarettes and everything. And you're like, you know what? I want to do- no. <laughs> I said I want to do it again. But why? <laughs> it didn't feel right. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You can't feel the music, man. <laughs> it didn't feel right. That's what I'm saying. And if it didn't feel right, then it's not going to sound right. <laughs> I don't uh, know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds perfect. <laughs> but yeah, so oh, me and Franco got to know each other a little bit on that. Mm. You know? I'm sure he thinks I'm fucking nuts. <laughs> and I think he's very, I think he's a very nice, tolerant young man. To, oh. to put up with. Yeah, to put up with me, I think he's a very nice, tolerant young man. Well, that's what the world needs. So, <laughs> yeah. More, we need more dudes like Franco, basically, is what yeah. we're telling you. <laughs> he was, he was Franco, we know you're listening. <laughs> you might be. You might be. So I'm throwing him a shout out. Franco from New there Music Studios. Great guy to work with. There you go. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so what uh how long have you been playing music? Oh fuck. Long, long time. Yeah. Um, I started playing probably when I was I started teaching myself as a kid. Um like 12. I started yeah. teaching myself guitar. Mm. Um, well, I, started. I started like being able to to sing and play at the same time. I don't know, probably late teens, which it was a little choppy, but, you know, I kind of smoothed it out eventually. Yeah. Um, uh, I started out playing a lot of, like, uh, cover tunes, Green Day, uh, other punk rock bands that I like. Uh, a lot of Green Day, though, because I don't know, for some reason, I just found that music, Billy Joe's style of writing and his style of singing just kind of fit with me. Mm-hmm. So I put, pl- yeah, I just found his... I just found his stuff easy to play for me. Not, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not trying to say it's easy music. I'm just saying I right. found yeah, it easy yeah. to play. Yeah. I know what you're saying because I, I was the <laughs> same way. I played a lot of Green Day. Like I drove <laughs> yeah. my folks, I drove my mom nuts. I put, I learned yeah. Dookie front to back. 
Like, <laughs> yeah, I pretty much knew most of Dookie, probably Nimrod, and you know, just Nimrod a bunch of songs here. I probably forgotten more Green Day songs that I've known over the years than I used to know. <laughs> yeah, at this point. But then you and then you listen to it again. It's like, oh yeah, I remember how to play that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I get a song coming around. I remember that tune. Yeah, I can play that. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Every now and then I'll I'll break out my acoustic and just play like a bunch of songs that I grew up learning how to play. Like yeah. when I was taking lessons and everything, and it's just like, oh yeah, this is fun. I remember this. <laughs> and it's all Green Day shit. Like yeah. everything morning <laughs> back. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of us that that kind of just fall into the punk genre, I think a lot of us played Green Day music growing up. Yeah, it like it was, in our it, age group for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's just so catchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. That's that's the thing of it. That's why a lot of people hate it too. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> it's just that hooky that it just hooks anybody, you know. But it's I mean, it's kind of generational. They gave Blink One Eighty Two the same shit they gave Green Day back then. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blink got its fair share of shit. Yeah, I gave them. My fair share, so yeah. Oh, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> and I give Green Day shit all the time, though. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like, yeah. They kind of that fell off for me, so it's just like... Yeah. Well, the American it, Idiot album was a fucking banger it, for me. It, it had yeah. its moments, for sure. That's a great... That, American Idiot that. was an absolute fucking banger album for me, but after that, I kind of just... You know, some of the tracks here and there are all right, but I never was never, I was never into another album by Green Day. As much mm. as I was into American Idiot after that. Yeah. 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 I think yeah, after I American say, Idiot, I fell off the map with them too. I just stopped. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it just kind of started. I don't want to say sucking, but it just got too different. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Yeah. It, it was just. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really <laughs> sure where where the turn went. But like I said, yeah. some of their stuff that they did put out after that, I do like. Mm-hmm. But I just the, as an album a whole. I was never into another album by Green Day as much as I was American Idiot. Yeah. And Blink-182. Blink-182 is another band that kind of, after Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, yeah. I was never into another album as much as I was into that one either. Yep. I yeah. really liked that album by them. Um, great. Enema was before that, right? Yeah. yeah. Enema was right before that. And yeah. Deirdre Hanson. See, Enema, right Enema had a lot of good tunes on it, but the ones that they actually put out as singles were like the worst tunes on the album yeah all the small things is, <clears throat> it's okay but it was one of the worst tunes on the on the album yeah 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 uh what's, what's my, my age, age again, again? Yeah. another one of their worst tunes on that album like the opening track dumpweed is awesome yeah dumpweed's a great song yep. dicer and gary uh very gary, yep. yeah <laughs> and um, fucking what else is there on mutt mutt's a great song yeah yeah so yeah, and Dude Ranch, I like Dude Ranch. Dude Ranch was amazing. I yeah. think Dude Ranch is a through and through album for me. Like I can listen to it start to finish. And yeah, 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 I could listen to Dude Ranch start to finish. I had to skip a few in Enema, mm. and a few in Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. And then after that, they kind of just got I don't know. There was a few yeah. good songs they released after the album on the following albums, but I couldn't yeah. really get into those albums though. No, yeah, you know what I mean. It was too. <clears throat> I call it dentist music. That easy listening shit. Yeah. You know, like that's you expect to hear it in a dentist office. Yeah. It may have, it may have something to do with the fact that I kind of just flopped over to Rise Against at that point too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Yes. Rise Against. Was yeah. Cool. Yeah. They were pivotal for me in my teenage years. They are absolutely awesome. That band. Yeah. So yeah. But you mentioned them. I, I'm going to get the album name wrong for sure. But what was it called? Siren Song? Siren yeah. Song of the Counterculture. That's mm. the yeah. I, I can listen to that start to finish with a skeptic. That's yeah. the album that got me into them. Like, mm. Yeah, that's, that's 16 a good album. years old. And holy Revolutions shit. is good. Yeah. Even the stuff the they un- put out with the major labels after that was yeah. good, man. Um, the Unraveling was a great album too yeah unraveling's a good album that's the earlier stuff that's the stuff they put out with yeah. that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Suffer, and out... sufferer and the witness was a great album that's a good album 
even Wolves. Wolves has some good songs. Yeah. There's not a Rise Against album that I've heard that doesn't at least have a few good fucking songs for me. Right. Mm. They, they, but they, I really like. I like, don't hate. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I can never hate them because yeah. like they do consistently put out good music. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty much like they've got their 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 method, mm. and and they pretty much use it. They they stick yeah. to that method. It works. Yeah, like they and know they, it works, so they just keep that formula. Yeah, they've got a formula and they use it. And they, they don't disappoint their fans, that's for sure. Yeah. What's that fucking album? The one I'm God damn it, I'm drawing a blank on my favorite album by them. <laughs> it's the one with the uh, audience of one. Oh uh, is, that, is that Suffer in the Witness? Satellite. No, it's not Satellite Suffer Audience of One. What the fuck else? I'm trying I'm drawing a blank on it. I know the album that you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it either though. Yeah. Them and their yeah. damn long album titles. <laughs> <laughs> Appeal to reason. Appeal, Appeal to reason. reason. That's, that's it. it. Mm. That's the one. That's my favorite album by Rise Against. Reasonably so. That's a great one. Fuck. So I had this weird fucking dream last night. Okay. I'm, I, I'm in this. I don't know where I am, but I'm supposed to play somewhere. Okay. Mm. And these people are telling me that, that, I, that I have to go on. But there's a problem. My fucking head is on backwards. <laughs> In my dream, my head's on backwards. I, I'm looking at my back. <laughs> I have to walk backwards in order to see where I'm going. And I keep telling them I can't go out there like this. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking at me like, and everybody's just looking at me like I got lobsters climbing out of my ears. What are you talking about? You've always been this way. And I'm like, I can't go out there like this. My head is backwards. And they're looking at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so in my dream, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my guitar, first of all. But I have to walk backwards to get to it. And I keep tripping over shit because I'm walking <laughs> on my heels but when i try and walk forwards i walk into stuff <laughs> so it's it, the entire dream i'm just me falling and then getting back up and walking into things <laughs> did you ever find your guitar? no i ended up waking up at some point and just shaking my head and going back to sleep but <laughs> you wake up it's one of those things where you just wake up and you go what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. Why can't I dream of it like, you know, motorboating some hot boobies or something? Why are you <laughs> dreams like this? The moral of the story is dreams are weird and confusing. And sometimes they just make absolutely no sense. <laughs> and that, my, ch- my ch- dear children, is called DMT. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> naturally produced when you dream. <laughs> that's what people don't understand when, like, because that's something I've always wanted to try. But like, I have to explain it to people. It's like, no, you already have it in you. <laughs> what you you, you you experience it every night when you sleep. <laughs> like, why not do a big ass dose of it? Get it all at once. Change your life. <laughs> you make a good point. <laughs> People use it and it changes their fucking lives for the better. So it's like, come on, why not? <laughs> DMT. DMT. Dimethyltryptoline. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to go off on a Joe Rogan tangent, so that's all. I'm really <laughs> <about it. laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the stuff that's in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Ivermectin? <laughs> yes. Oh, damn it, Matt. You really are the worst Canadian ever. <laughs> I am. I don't know. I. I... I'm not convinced that he's the worst Canadian ever after seeing that tier challenge. That's the one thing that makes him <laughs> remotely Canadian is that he beat us in a syrup <laughs> jug. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty Canadian. <laughs> that is pretty fucking Canadian. We, th- we, even, 
we even told him to stop and he just kept going <laughs> like a psychopath. Stop. <laughs> you can stop. I already started. <laughs> yeah, and I almost puked on air. <laughs> Man, I almost <laughs> like that for four days. Every time he gets to it, like, I'm going to make fucking pancakes with my throw up. <laughs> oh, man. Pancakes. And again, it wasn't even like legit maple syrup. It was like fucking Aunt Jemima butter syrup. <laughs> okay. So it's, it, it's. It wasn't even the thick stuff. No. It wasn't even the thick stuff. stuff. Like legit fucking le syrup. That uh, <laughs> my whole body, like from my throat to my stomach, just felt so slimy. I was like, "Oh God, I know what's in there." <laughs> you ever see the movie Stand by Me? Yeah, the the guy that chugs all the castor oil, like that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just projectile vomit. I felt like lard ass yeah. from Stand by Me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can't throw it that much. There's not even a two six of syrup. Come on. <laughs> Oh, but either way, it was awful. <laughs> it was terrible, man. Yep. And my ass, and my ass goes and buys the first bottle of fruity pebble syrup that I see. <laughs> still can't find it. You still can't find it? Still no. I went to Walmart yesterday on a big snack run, and I still couldn't find it. Yeah. I was on fruity my way. Pebble to syrup. The, yeah. Fruity pebble flavored syrup. Looks like dish. <laughs> it does, but but I did exactly. find Fruit Loop gummies that taste like Fruit Loops. I was kind of surprised That's by that. Weird. Yeah, Come I expected them to be like them. you know like shitty little gummy things. No, uh, they're pretty decent. Do they See, all that's taste the, the thing, same? man? Like I bought these Star Wars or not Star Wars Starburst gummies. They don't taste yeah. like Starburst. Yeah, no, these taste, taste like, like Fruit Loops. <laughs> it tastes like some generic gummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just like throw gummies into a pile, and they're like, "Here, this is Starburst." They shape, they this shape is, them uh, like Starburst. Air, her, yeah. Airheads gummies over here. Those they don't, don't taste, taste like Airheads. Like no, they don't. Airheads all advertising man. The texture you get. <laughs> Airheads I'll fall for anything <laughs> once, but I'm not going back for them. <laughs> so, back to the Fruit Loops gummies, real quick. Now, all Fruit Loops taste the same. Yeah. Like they're all the same flavor. Is that the same? Is that the same scenario with the gummies? Pretty much. There's a little bit of difference, but pretty much. Right. Just, you know, just to give it the kick or whatever you need. Yep. Yep. Like, oh, that one's definitely lemon, but it's, <clears> it's <throat> not overpowered. Yeah. Know. Matt's just like, I don't get any of this stuff. I hate everybody. I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't need those kind of options. <laughs> I'll drink. I'll drink a bottle of fucking syrup. You think I need forty-five different <laughs> fucking flavors of gummies? No. <laughs> Save that yeah. for me. I, I'm just like, how did you manage to drink a bottle of Aunt Jemima? Like that's no stick, man. Oh, it was. <laughs> he, like he just kept going. I, it one. It. I only stopped. It. That must have taken a while. Nope. Less than two minutes. Yep. I think it was in the 30 second range, to be honest. Because I could it, it, it was not that long. Yeah, it felt like an eternity, but it wasn't too long. <laughs> oh, it's regular, like... regular maple syrup's pretty thin. Like, you can drink that. But Aunt Jemima is like, that stuff's thick. Yeah. That's like dish soap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he did it, though. It's exactly what it's like, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. all been there swearing in front of grandma yeah. wow. soap in the mouth yeah <laughs> but I, I won we, 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 were, we were competing for pride and boy did I get it and <laughs> diabetes well at least you got something out of it you know like <laughs> <laughs> it was for free yeah wouldn't just for you know for the hell of it <laughs> i mean yeah that was a dark day <laughs> that was a dark day in the geek den world <laughs> yeah. yeah we had what was it chris DiLorenzo lorenzo on shortly after that and he goes yeah 
he points right at me and he goes, you, your, your face was the worst. <laughs> was, he's like, I could see the moment where you almost puked. And I was like, yeah, it was, it was pretty fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it like went down and then came back up. And yeah, I was like, nope, done. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I could totally see that. You, you have no poker face. <laughs> You have no poker face. Yeah, not you're, with that. You're... I don't. No. No, not with anything. Just from, <laughs> short, just from this short interview, I've already, I've already seen your, I've already <laughs> seen your stink eye. <laughs> That's how I mean by my mother. <laughs> it's, it's just involuntary facial expressions. It's just no poker face. You're probably it's very funny, bad though, at cards. Because in a game of poker, you can't tell if I'm bluffing or not. <laughs> I don't know about that. I probably could. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge, sir. Uh, he would look at you and make you laugh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did your mom give you an ace of spades, James? <laughs> <laughs> Shifty. <laughs> What are you talking about, you cheater? Uh, I totally would, too. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I used to do that in the casinos. I didn't even really care. I used to sit down and play the poker tables around here just to fucking talk shit to people when they're playing. <laughs> ah, you lost, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, oh, see like walking up behind thing. somebody. Oh, you're gonna throw away the car, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'd sit, I'd sit down at the poker table and like Friday night, it'd be like Sunday morning by the time I left. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't played a single game, I know. <laughs> yeah but i'm having fun <laughs> oh i'm playing the game all right oh i played i played but it was more fun just to talk shit to the people at the table <laughs> especially the ones that take it so serious oh my god they're fun to fuck with oh they're the best they get so mad <laughs> yeah. especially if you're like i don't even play this much <laughs> and you're like and you're like running the fucking table on them <laughs> yeah. this is like the third time I've ever played my whole life what I'm the sitting there taking their chips and they're getting so fucking mad and I'm talking <laughs> shit to them the whole time <laughs> my goal would be my goal would be not to see how much money I could win but how many people I could make leave the table <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I'm not, even, I'm, not cool. Even, I'm not even kidding. That's oh, dude. No, that's brilliant. That's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. I'd have my buddies crying at some, some points. They couldn't even watch me. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go play at other tables they couldn't handle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! Oh, <laughs> I think it's break time. Please. Hootie <laughs> Hootie Pebbles, oh what I wouldn't do to get to get, get them from you 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 know who? Join the band, Mike. Me? Yeah, you got the sound we need. Take it, shake it, shake it, shake it in your soul. Take it, shake it, shake it, shake it in your bowl. Poo 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 delicious. My fruity pebbles are gone. How fruit too it does. Barney. Uh oh, the gig is up. Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, for dapper delicious. When time is gone.
How about them maple leaves? <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> ah, touche. I say as I'm wearing a Bruins hat. I'm going to say wearing a Bruins toque, you fuck. <laughs> Go bees. <clears throat> Going in my barn, swearing those swears. <laughs> <laughs> you better tie down the jersey, bud. <laughs> throw that tarp on. <laughs> so we've had a laugh fest off the air. We can't repeat yeah. anything we talked about. No, no. <laughs> we'll die. Look <laughs> here, bud. Oh. What do we want to get into here, boys? I don't know. I can't even look at McKeever right now. <laughs> I need a mask. <laughs> don't do that because then I'm going to start laughing again <laughs> oh now you just look like the Unabomber Ted Kaczynski over here yeah you Funko and just put it in there <laughs> Delford E. Newman for the rest of the time <laughs> what do you mean you'd be like the shrunken head on Beetlejuice <laughs> Switching the numbers. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm next. <laughs> That's the movie that needs a sequel. Aren't they supposed to be making one? I, I I hear about it all the time, but I think it's all like fan fiction. Michael Keaton's definitely down. Like I've seen interviews with him where he said he wants to do that. Yeah. It would be, it would definitely be worth a watch if they did it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Especially if they brought, well, Alec Baldwin is going through some shit, but if they brought him back too, I think it would be great. But how do you age a ghost? Yeah. Well, I also Michael think. Keaton? No, uh, Alec Baldwin. No, it was Michael Keaton that played Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah, but Alec Baldwin's a ghost as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was the. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the model. Yeah, yeah. He, did, he okay, built the model town. Yeah, yeah. With him, yeah. Him and Gina Davis are the most replaceable characters in the cast. This is true. Yeah, you don't necessarily need that. No. Yeah, no. As long as one owner writer and Michael Keaton are there, you're good. Yeah. Well, even I, I like Catherine O'Hara as that mom. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You got to bring back Catherine O'Hara. And then the big fat guy is Otho too. He's dead. <laughs> Oh, he is he? Away. He passed away some years ago. Well, yeah. then it would be appropriate to recast him, wouldn't it? Yep. I can go just talk to Otho. Though. Yeah, that would be true. They they made Tupac come back to life. I'm sure they could do it for a movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and the graphics have got to be better than they were in the original one. Remember yeah. the sandworms? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking your cartoons. <laughs> yeah, pretty oh, much. Like, for claymation. <laughs> claymation, like, yeah. yeah. Don't be in pokey. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking Tim Burton, man. He loves his claymation. Yeah, he yeah does. those are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see the original Frankenweenie? Yes. Wow. Yes, I, I think I have seen that. On Disney Plus, if you ever get a chance. Yep. Franken- Frankenweenie? Yeah. Yep. Frankenweenie. <laughs> There's two versions of it. Misleading <laughs> pornography. That's what that is. <laughs> the original. Yeah. That's Frankenhooker. <laughs> and Craig would know <laughs> if it's horror themed he's fucking seen it yeah I've seen that survey <laughs> yeah that that pornography is like a big thing man like especially on the internet I think it's going to take off here right away yeah I don't know yeah, like, you can't even like I tried to google a recipe for cream pies <laughs> There was nothing to do with pie in any of the in any of the searches that came up. <laughs> the internet is a dirty, dirty place. <laughs> yeah, um, it really is. What yeah, it is. is the internet? <laughs> <laughs> We're saying as we use it. To, you know, <laughs> what the hell do you mean, blue waffle? I. <laughs> 
I refuse to look at that. <laughs> Don't. Don't let that do it. Let's go. Like, waffle, oh, like, waffle. All you need to know is their waffles made for cops. After the clean cream pie <laughs> fiasco, I got totally not falling for that again. <laughs> Incognito. Incognito. As I saw that, I'm like, no, waffle. this is going to have oh, nothing God. to do with waffles. Matt, no. <laughs> this is blue waffles. What? Both. The internet lied. What does blue waffle mean? Is a fictional sexually built? Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, thank you, Urban Dictionary. Okay, <laughs> clear Google search. Oh, Jesus! A history clear all time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so here's here's a, an interesting lesson. Nine, like 99 times out of 100, when someone says don't Google that, don't. Because <laughs> Matt's going to do it. Well, I, went and did this, I went and did this competitive eating once where this, it, it was co- this, the sandwich or the burger I ate was called Doris. And it was, it was a, uh, Two pounds of hamburger, like in three patties, and a bunch of bacon and eggs and bullshit. But the buns were uh, two grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm. And I got a t-shirt that says, I ate doors. And I took a picture of that. And I said, and I just said, I ate doors. Google it. And the first comment on there is like, I'm not going to do that. (laughs) (laughs) I know what you're into here. (laughs) And so... (laughs) <laughs> Let's see. Incognito. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> yes, sorry. Oh, holy shit. Yep. I never okay. fell over. I never so fell for anything hilarious. after two girls, one cup. No. <laughs> What comes up, the very first thing that comes up, all I typed in was, I ate Doris, is a video, and it says, food challenge, soda jerks, Doris burger, and that's what it was. There you go. No way. Wholesome I time. had to scroll down for one second <laughs> to find my first bit of pornography. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, click and open, save bookmark. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for later. <laughs> we are going very weird on the Geek Den tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a person. It's actually a hamburger, I promise. <laughs> We're back on the rest of it later. <laughs> or not. Oh, boy. The things we talk about. Do you remember when the internet had all that potential? Yeah. Like I could well, we went and it all up. <laughs> I could I can find information in, in the blink of an eye and I can see some stranger's butthole at the same time. <laughs> and now it's all the buttholes. intro web. Nobody Buttle, buttholes and cats. Yeah. <laughs> world star and syrup chugging. World star. I've not seen a world star <laughs> video in like a year actually. It's been pretty oh, yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> they used to pop up all the time. Now it's just music. <laughs> you just always need to walk around with two friends and have one of the one of the friends push you and the other one scream world star. <laughs> <laughs> and just get everybody riled up. Just do, do that to somebody at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> You look like someone I can beat up. <laughs> I'm only 10. <laughs> that makes it funnier. World star. World star. <laughs> World star. <laughs> what are you Walk doing? it off. You'll be all right. <laughs> Rub some fucking dirt on it, kid. Come on. <laughs> Just call us when you get to the bottom. We'll call for the nurse ready. 
Don't you get scared and turn around halfway, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you even think about grabbing a branch on the way down. <laughs> you're, in it. The you're in it for life. Stop halfway down. <laughs> Damn. Uh, That's fucked up. Funny, yeah. though. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking about throwing people into fucking caverns that they can't be found in. I mean, <laughs> we're hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think it, in all fairness, I'm pretty sure it's crossed somebody's mind, everybody's mind at least once. Yeah. About to push their buddy into the Grand Canyon? Maybe not a buddy, but somebody. I'm sure there's somebody <laughs> that's, I'm sure some, someone has come across someone in their life that they like to throw into the Grand Canyon, in all fairness. Yeah. I, I've got yeah. a list. Yeah, I've got a list. <laughs> but at the same time, I wouldn't want to sully the Grand Canyon like that. <laughs> True. Just pick up medium or small canyon yeah, yeah there's one in pennsylvania actually <laughs> a canyon that one. yeah it's called it's called the pennsylvania grand canyon but, but it's not grand and not like the one in arizona no it's grandish it's, it's grandish there's more there's more trees <laughs> it's not a desert. It's bottom tier grand yeah <laughs> it's like the grand canyon's so- up here the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon is like mm, here. <laughs> Quantify that space. What do you mean? So it's what does so that it's mean? Oh, natural as opposed to shave. <laughs> like on the scale. This is this is scale. number one. This is number one. This is number. This is ten. Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, like the Grand Canyon. Number the one. Grand Canyon is exactly seven and a half watermelons better than Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's American math for you right there, buddy. This is 15 cheeseburgers and four freedoms. <laughs> <laughs> now, the height of, we all know the depth of the Grand Canyon is about 20,000 Big Macs. <laughs> I thought it was more than that. Well, right it might be. Arms, motherfucker. <laughs> okay so let's just say for prosperity's sake it's about 500 ak-47 <laughs> okay all right so two free so, two 55 roman candles and a fuck yeah. you <laughs> 55 roman candles and a big ass middle finger <laughs> <laughs> And then throwing a t-shirt that says, oh, I hurt your feelings. Stop being a little bitch. <laughs> and how many moose tracks per maple syrup is it from here to the Grand Canyon? <laughs> I was never good with the metric system. Okay. Fair <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> it, is, it is one diabetic episode away. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same depth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well this one uh... <laughs> yeah. when everyone knows your search history this is bad news <laughs> <laughs> what you get for searching for naughty stuff on the air Matthew <laughs> we have a guest think... here and you're doing this <laughs> what do you think this is the Joe Rogan experience <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had my monoclonal antibodies yet, so it can't <laughs> Elon Musk will not come here and get stoned, damn it. Yeah, no, he won't. He won't get stoned off one hit of a joint that he didn't even inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, shoe this around you to make it look like you just smoked it. <laughs> Fuck. Just poke that fucking thing, dude. It's a straw. Come on. Yes, All sir. right, that's the last time we hire. That's the last time we hire an interpreter with sign language. <laughs> we just pissed, Matt just pissed off like so many deaf people. <laughs> What's he doing sign language? <laughs> Uh, they just, don't know that. He's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, now he's making fun of deaf people. 
<laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll be canceled. <laughs> they can't be canceled. Us, we're on public access. Not. <clears throat> they can't cancel us. We're on public access. <laughs> 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 Whatever Wayne's World said. That was probably <laughs> sure, but, but okay. <laughs> Public <laughs> access was Wayne's World. Stephen Howard PJ was probably sure. You were way off, sir. Some Ouch. You know what it Ouch is. My... It was being intentionally obtuse, James. I, I don't believe you. That's okay. Why are you being obtuse? <laughs> good enough, not good looking enough to be acute. <laughs> oh man. Come on, now fire. we can't answer in GIFs like we do online. <laughs> like Greg's into the GIF. <laughs> not that quick on the button. <laughs> Made yes. episode, just see a cat come up on my screen circling. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it again. The vibe, yeah. He's fucking having a rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't rage quit here. Nah. No. We're not we don't cancel you either. Nope. We don't. <sighs> no. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> we were on some kind of different level tonight. I don't know. Maybe we all really that DMT. <laughs> all that that dream stuff. <laughs> you know, I've never tried that, but I do really I want to just say I've done it. But at the same time, I want to see what happens. You know what I mean? Curiosity killed the cat. It's one of those things that's naturally produced, so I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm open to it. You know? Oh, you, you guys don't, like, have dreams? No. No, like, I, do have, I do have dreams. Point. They're just rare, and I don't, don't remember them. Yeah. We have no REM cycle because we uh, partake in too many... I, I, uh, I smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> REM, REM sleep cycle. is rare for James. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had, like, one dream last week or something. <laughs> Every now and then, I'll a real vivid one, and it'll yeah. fuck with me like all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we get attacked in our dreams, damn it! <laughs> like, oh, god damn it! Why couldn't I get away from that fucking dog? Like, <laughs> oh my god, the giant lobster's back! The ones that really freak me out are the ones where you can't really fucking tell if you're awake or you're dreaming or not. Yes, yeah, I have those a and lot that- because I'll sleep with the TV on. And then sometimes, like, you'll get this, I don't know, it'll just be something flying randomly at my face, or like I'm falling off a cliff, yep. Yeah. And right, and right before I hit, I jump up. Yeah, and you're, like, laying in bed all And again, yeah, it's so weird, because you feel like you actually fall fuck? into bed, though. Like, yeah. it's so weird. It feels like you land on your bed when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you wonder what the fuck you were doing. Right. <laughs> you're talk- like, I know exactly what you're talking about, because I'll just be laying there all cozy and just just ah. right there, you're right there on the cusp of sleep, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Whoa, shit!" Yep. <laughs> yep. And you're like, "Wait, I'm here, and I'm okay, <laughs> but my blanket is all askew." <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck was I doing just now? <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're dreaming about falling, but even the person sleeping next to you is like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do?" <laughs> Just randomly Dreaming. kicking and screaming. The <laughs> 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 you put a camera in your room and you see yourself like hovering twenty feet above the bed. <laughs> 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 Why am I on the ceiling? 
<laughs> I've never had one of those dreams. Like an out-of-body experience. Yeah. Yeah, no. I've come close to death plenty of times, but I've never had an out-of-body experience. Yeah. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience, Ken? I kinda. Hmm. Kinda, I guess. Where you like feel like you're watching yourself? Yeah. 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 yeah but and it's like really vivid and, and then yeah. not necessarily. And a big yeah. bright light lifted me up into the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out to be an alien named Roger. <laughs> Long story short. <laughs> there was no butt stuff but we got hammered yeah <laughs> it was, it was like dodge that fucking weirdo it was like a it was some kind of telepathic projection thing where I, he made it so he could connect his mind to my mind and I could see me through his eyes that's how he explained it uh, Roger is pretty cool. I haven't seen him since, but <laughs> I still write to him. <laughs> yeah. Every now December just, 21st. Now there's just a now there's just a pile of letters just there at the mailbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never even he a could birthday be, card. He could be off in God knows how many galaxies away by now. He's this probably is, on crouton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that who we were talking to last night? Yeah. <laughs> We salute you, Roger from Crouton. <laughs> Fought the good fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know what you mean. When when you're in like a real vivid dream, and even your dream is like, I hope this isn't a dream. Yeah. It's actually Roger. Up. Oh. It was actually Roger that got me started on songwriting. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he, he gave me this book, Songwriting for Dummies. <laughs> <laughs> it was that Every time I looked, long. it was just like little keyboard things. Like, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual book called Songwriting for Dummies. <laughs> and... Be a dummy, buy this book. (laughs) (laughs) We don't want to lose it again. Yeah, it it was filled with all kinds of useful information. Like when you have an idea, write it down. (laughs) Why the fuck did I think of that? Tune your instrument. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh, is that what those little knobs are on the end of the guitar? <laughs> I thought those were. I thought that. I thought those were coat hangers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you got to change the strings? <laughs> When when I was younger, I had this friend and he was like fresh learning how to play the guitar. Like he got a little book and everything. And he thought that like to make different chords, you had to like tune up and down. So he'd make a, he'd make a note. He'd just keep tuning every note. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, maybe chord change, it's a little awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, a, it's hard to do live. <laughs> so, so i got an idea we have this band right we have this band i can't play guitar for shit because i got a tune with every chord so we can't play live but we can put out some killer album it's just gonna take a while to record them you guys down <laughs> Learn how to play guitar, man. <laughs> must, take a while to lay, must take a while to lay a riff down. <laughs> <Bung>. <laughs> <laughs> this 
just make like Victor Wooten and tune it while you're playing it. <laughs> That's Maybe funny. we get some funny songwriter stories on here for you. <laughs> That's fucking great. Never in my life. <laughs> like not even when I was learning how to play it. Did I ever think I got a tune for every chord? <laughs> like <laughs> how many times like how did the guy ever watch like anybody ever perform like ever I don't know <laughs> because like I don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny man he thinks it's like a harp or something <laughs> He must have went through a lot of strings trying to, tune, trying to get that low E to an A. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> no, seriously, that's a lot of fucking tension to be putting on your strings, though. Yep. Constantly tuning and shit like that. Yep. Holy fuck. Yep. <laughs> that's funny. Can't that's... play live. Takes too nope. long to get a chord out. <laughs> Yeah, we're too hardcore for live shows. We only do recordings. <laughs> Get on stage, bounce, catch your. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the fastest song we know. <laughs> Twenty-eight minutes long. <laughs> And that's just the first verse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't see our band, huh? Well, be prepared for about a six-hour show. <laughs> Two songs. You only have 11 songs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and we only play two in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> and for the encore, it's a half song. <laughs> just half. Just Not half. <laughs> We don't even play the bridge to that. that one. We just do one verse in a chorus. That's it. Because by that point, we're too fucking tired. You need we a play whole festival. Six and a half hours, concert. we're done. <laughs> Did you guys bring camping gear? Because we'll be here all weekend. <laughs> just trying to play the one song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like get over that hipster Ma- Mars Volta bullshit. <laughs> How long's this song? Uh, fucking twenty three hours. <laughs> what is this? A fish concert? <laughs> a didgeridoo, a bagpipe, a fucking triangle, and some other shit. And the guy who played Joker and homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the goats. You can't forget the goats. They need to be here too. <laughs> he just steps on a fucking bellows. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a big poop of dust go flying. A train goes and you fucking got two cats like jumping on an accordion. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> so you've seen them before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh I know this band. I know this band. It's between the barrier to me. <laughs> it is. They're avant garde metal band, and they're they're known for their ridiculously long technical songs <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. weird with weird ass titles. I have to think yeah. of some of their shit. They're, 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 like they're, English they're, words in them. It's just like la 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 la. <laughs> no, no, they sing in English. It's just weird, <laughs> weird stuff. Or not yeah. terrible, but it's weird. Yeah. random words. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Blowfish. Blowfish. Definition. Funko Pop. They have an album. <laughs> they have an album that has six songs on it, and it's fifty-two minutes long. <laughs> Who the fuck do they think they are? Meatloaf. I was gonna Good say question. Tool. Yeah. Tool. They're basically Tool if they had more of a death metal influence. No. Yeah. Okay. Like that, that that's between the barrier to me in a nutshell. 
but I can listen to them repeatedly. I can't listen to Tool on repeat. Oh no, I can only deal with like one Tool song, and that can. Like, I can listen hour. to a Tool. I can listen to a Tool album, but then I'm done with Tool for a minute. Yeah, like I'm good. Like, yeah, I, I've had my Maynard fix. <laughs> you know. Yep. Said nobody. <laughs> no, that's that's it. I can't listen to Tool very often. I do enjoy. I can do. Music. I can do Tool sometimes. Yeah. yeah. There's wor- definitely okay. worse bands out there. Yeah. If if we go back to what we were talking about earlier about albums that I that have songs I don't skip through, there aren't there's no two albums that have songs I don't skip through. There's there's at least two on every album. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same here. For me. Yeah. Well it just gets boring except- after a while because it's like it's the same song just cycled to you differently and trying to be more like technical, but yeah. They still have that same distinct sound that they can't get rid of, but they think they're like, yeah. (laughs) No, but there's no mistake in them for anybody else. No, no. no. You know a tool song. You you know a tool song when you hear it. And it's not like I'm saying they're not talented. They're, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They used to make crazy. You may not know the name of the song. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But you know it's a tool song. Yeah. (laughs) There was a point in my life that I had a tool shirt for every day of the week. Yeah. So I was one of those guys for a minute, but then I realized I was like, this is, this is boring. Yeah. I had a couple of buddies that were into tool. Yeah. Nope. I used to listen yeah. to tool with them, you know, the car and shit. Yeah, like I was that. into I don't mind tool. Yeah, I was right. into tool because like that's what it was what I was into at the moment, like cold chamber and tool and shit like that. But like, I, I can't do it these days anymore. <laughs> Not yeah, for like long like, periods at a time. Like if I'm, no, but if a song comes on, it's like, yeah, I, I yeah, know yeah. Well, like, yeah. Like if I have their songs on my playlist and I'm driving around and like, say sober comes on, I'm going to let it play through because I like that song. Yeah. Like that's my favorite tool albums undertow. Yeah. So of course I'm going to let that song play through, but. If if another one comes on right behind it, I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, because I don't I don't want to hear. First of all, I have my playlist on shuffle, so why are you repeating artists? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. And then second of all, I just don't want to hear Tool back to back. Yeah, I'm good. Not this day and age. I'm we know on. you're listening to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not yeah. trying to insult you. We're just you know. No. Yeah, we're, we're just paying your respects. <laughs> Oh man! I, I what, a, are your, yeah. like, oh, yeah. what are your like? Oh yeah. What are your influences like when you write music? Who are you influenced by the most? Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Take a number. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't even. It just kind of comes. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even like think about genre. Like I don't sit down and go, I'm gonna write a punk punk song, or I'm gonna write, you know, this type of song or that kind of like. I, it just doesn't occur to me. It's yeah, it's like your own whatever. distinct thing. Yeah, it's it's like this. My musical taste in rock is pretty broad, from like, you know, from punk rock all the way out to like, I'm I'm only into aggressive type music, I guess. Mm. Aggressive lyrics, aggressive vocals. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really too much into the softer type stuff, but you know, you can kind of hear that in my vocals, anyways. Yeah. I don't really, yeah. I don't really hold back. No, <laughs> I remember the bathroom <laughs> session. You never held back. <laughs> yeah, I don't hold back, and and like when I write tunes, it's not like I'm, I, I'm, I have a specific goal in mind, like a genre mm-hmm. in mind that I'm aiming for. It's just kind of like everything that I've absorbed, I guess, just kind of comes out. Right. Yeah. And it it can come out and like like trap door was supposed to be. I wasn't even, that wasn't even supposed to go on this record. It wasn't even something I was thinking about recording. But during warm-ups, I was just warming up in the vocal booth and I started jamming out that song. Just, and Frank was like, man, you got to lay that down. That track, I love, fucking love that track. Like, <laughs> All right, fuck it. <laughs> All right, why not? Yeah. So it's just one of those things. I don't know. I, like my influences come from, I guess, a lot of genres of rock music. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a big pop fan, although yeah. I can to- tolerate some pop music. Yeah. Mm. But like, you know, pop punk, which is probably closer to where, I guess if it was a pop folk punk, I guess that's kind of where I somewhere 
Yeah. Ball. Yeah, I can see it. Something like that. I don't yeah. know. Like I, when you're folk uploading, only because you're using the acoustic instruments. Yeah, the folk folk comes from the acoustic. Yeah, because it's all acoustic music. Right. I like acoustic music, mm. and I find that that in in that world, it, everything's all very electric driven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know. I kind of like just being doing the acoustic thing, doing something a little different. I mean, there are obvious, you know, acoustic driven bands like Frank Turner. Mm. Yeah. Um, he does a lot of acoustic stuff. Mm-hmm. Dashboard Confessionals, another one. They're more, I guess, emo pop, I suppose. Yeah. And I don't really know. Like, I, I don't really sit there and think about what genre I fall in. I just kind of throw it out there wherever it lands and lands. And one thing mm-hmm. I hate about DistroKid is when you go to upload a track, they ask you, what genre is yeah. this music? Yeah, and I'm like, is, it's just music. I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at it. Well, where's like sad songs for lonely dudes with acoustic guitars? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Fuck, I, I guess. I don't know. Franco, pick something. What do you think? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Because like I used to, me and my buddy had a little f- online fanzine when we were teenagers. Mm. And we we met we met Taking Back Sunday at a show in State College, Pennsylvania. We asked the guitar player, we were like, a lot of people call you emo, but what do you consider yourself? And he goes, we're just fucking rock and roll, man. Yeah. And I was just like, all right, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. You know what I mean? You don't get that answer anymore. No. I'm just, yeah, just it's basically what I said. It's yeah. acoustic rock, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Yep. <clears throat> That's what I tell people when they ask me, like, what kind of music I like. I'm like, listen, I like a lot of different ty- types of music, but I my one caveat is it has to have a guitar and a bass and a drum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The instruments have to be there, like a combination of, or like just the guitar is cool, you know, but yeah, it has to be rooted in the blues and country and rock and roll in some way. Yeah. You know? and yeah. And People are like, wow, you're pretty picky. I'm like, not really. As long as it's like that, I'm cool with it. But I don't like a lot of top 40 shit. The stuff yeah. that is on a computer, you know? But then again, and I don't even know like... where all these genres and subgenres came from and why people feel yeah. the need to put everything into a category in a box. Yeah. 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 It just doesn't make sense to me because then you've got all these categories and boxes now of subgenres of rock music mm-hmm. or subgenres of this style of music. And you're just like, fuck, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you could sit there and say that you could sit there and say that apathetic could fit in fucking five different places in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're another rainbow or this track or that track that they could all. So fucking, I don't know. Pick it. You tell me. (laughs) What do you think? Yeah. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Well, there's not many out there like that. Even even like solo artists there, you say, you know, you take Chuck Reagan, most of his shit's like country influenced. And different things like that. And then, you know, you got like Benjamin Todd and all them, but you just have your own distinct sound. It's not even like anything. It doesn't even sound like it influenced by anything. Like you said, it just sounds like it came from you. Yeah. And I, that's, and it's honestly, it's just, it's very honest <clears throat> music. And that's what I like. And that's why it's so fulfilling for me to do it. It's very yeah. honest. It's, just, I'm not trying to fit anywhere. I'm just, writing and performing it the way i feel it Mm -hmm. you're doing you yeah i'm very much doing me and and that's (laughs) the most fulfilling part about it yeah and i do me mostly every night just for healthy prostate (laughs) (laughs) there you go we're all at that age now we have (laughs) recommended by (laughs) none i don't I'm not really sure when when that's you know that whole prostate thing should be start becoming an issue, but I figured I've got to jump on it over the last twenty years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's yeah, important. I'm sure. I, I call that I call that preemptive thinking. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anticipation. Yeah. Breeding success. Yeah. It's preparing you for your. It's preparing you for manhood. Is what it's doing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and i feel that like way, you know that, i'm almost there yeah that way you're not surprised by it yeah and i, I feel like i'm almost the man now like <laughs> maybe, maybe not mentally 
<laughs> None of us. None of us. I'm mentally like five. I don't know, somewhere around there. Forty. I, I'd say I'd say I'm mature and my like my brain's probably at least my you know, my thinking's matured to around like twelve or thirteen, I think. <laughs> I think I mentally I think I stopped mentally aging at like eighteen. <laughs> and at eighteen. Oh, so you're like you're like an 18? old soul. Yeah. yeah, kind of, but like at, at 18, I had the mindset of a 12 year old. So, you know, yeah, I kind of just got the whole teenage spectrum just covered. <laughs> just part of like, whether I'm an old soul or whatever. Yeah. We all have our moments. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not an adult in my mind. <laughs> no. Far I'm, from it. I hate it. I and mean, what was cool about uh, working with Franco is Franco is actually more of a, a hip hop. Oh, uh, really? Man, yeah, he was more into like hip hop music, and he actually writes and does his own hip hop type of type of thing as well. Huh. And I was the first rock act he ever recorded. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So it, what, yeah, so it's actually kind of cool that way, and it it made the sound all that more honest. Because he's not thinking about, you know, other bands. He's not thinking about other music that I'm yeah. playing that he's this trying to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is new to him. Yeah. I'm sure he's heard it before, but you know what right. I mean? Like, he's not trying to fit. He's just trying to make me sound the best I possibly can. Yeah. From what I'm recording. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's not trying to produce me in such a way that I sound more like this guy or that guy or you know yeah yeah he doesn't Which, have anything to compare you to so <laughs> no yeah no and the sound came out very very clean and honest i think so i'm, I'm, I'm actually ha quite happy with the work we did yeah that sounds like a really organic like relationship you yeah i was about to say that sounds pretty raw like yeah it sounds like you guys like kind of learned together on it we did it was a very much a feel. It was a very much feeling each other out kind of situation. Yeah. The first day I walked in there, I'm like, okay, so, and he's like, okay, so first thing I want you to do is just to go in the booth and play what you're going to record, so I can hear what I'm working with. Yeah. Mm. So I hop in there, and I think the first track I played, I think the first track I recorded was apathetic. So I hop in there and I rock that tune out for him in the booth, and he <clears> stops <throat> and he kind of looks at me, and you could tell he's trying not to look too impressed. He's like, okay, so that sounded good. Uh, I guess we'll just record now. <laughs> Want to just start with guitar? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, awesome. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but we ended up doing uh, the track twice. First time I mic'd the guitar. Um, mic'd the guitar, then we, we ran through four layers of vocals in the first session. And then I decided to go back in and do uh, the guitar over again, which was a little tricky because I already recorded the vocals. So I had to basically match my timing right. of what yeah. I already had recorded. <laughs> so that, that was a little tricky, but we, I got it. Yeah, so yeah, I ended awesome. up doing a hard wire. I ended up having to hardwire it through because I, I wasn't really feeling the way it was mic'd. I don't know. It was just, it needed more something. Mm. And it's it funny too, because like, sound of it. yeah, it, it needed more of a bolder sound, but it was weird because like you really couldn't turn much volume on the, the hardwire track of it. You really had to keep it down really low because oh, wow. the, the system's so sensitive, it picks up everything. Right. Yeah. So you're basically working off almost like pretty much zero sound. You're not even turning it to the dial of like the one volume. You, you wow. can't even go that high. Otherwise you're hearing every pick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You're hearing every pop and pick, and oh man, yeah, it, it's yeah. a process. But it, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome, man. But uh, do you plan on working with him again in the future? It's hard to say. Um, I, I, it's hard to say where I'll be in the right. future. You know, I just you know, a musician just doing your thing, and you tend to drift around. Yeah. So, for sure. Yeah. By the time I reload and get ready to go back in to do another album, this album was supposed to be a little longer, but you know, I worked with what I got. I got the five song EP out, five yeah. decent, pretty solid songs, so I'm okay with that. The next one, I want to go for a little bit more, 
um, I've got mountains of material to work with. So it's just a matter of seeing where I'll be to record them mm. when I reload to record them. Right. Yeah. And you know, well, COVID's well. really, COVID's oh, yeah. really a real fucking cocksucker for musicians. Like, yeah, it's so bad. Yeah. It's fucking terrible, dude. Yeah. And, and, you know, even the, even the big bands <laughs> feel it, you know, it's, it's not even just the little guys. Yeah. yeah, no, everyone's canceling tours and everything, and it's... But, and that's where the money is, man. Like, yeah. the money's in the gigging. Yeah. Yep. You don't make dick off streams. Mm. No. No, you don't. No. You, you, you don't make, make fuck money, all off of streams. You make your money selling tickets and selling your merch. Merch. Selling merch, tickets. Yeah. Merch is Mostly something merch. I'm going to... Yeah, merch is okay. something I got to look into. Um, all right. Yep, we're going to be doing that as well. Yep. That's something that I've been kind of fucking slacking on so far, but I kind of just wanted to give the time for this yep. little EP to get out and get in circulation and hopefully find yeah. some, some audiences. Oh, you will. Yep. The cool thing about the internet is like, it's, it's one of those places where it's so easy to present your material. Yeah. But the thing is, there's just so many people doing it that it's just so hard to be found there's on so the internet. so much out yeah 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 you got to get yourself to stand out and yep. get the, the and it's first very little much, nudge <clears throat> yeah just to get somebody to take the time to listen to you yeah when there's just so much shit going on out there in the internet it's just like and i know my sound stands out because everybody who says it listens to it says the same thing it's very distinctive right yeah. there's it is it doesn't it is it doesn't sound like anyone else yeah mm-hmm. No, you definitely have goal. that down. You are definitely distinct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very distinguished sound. So it's a mm-hmm. matter of getting that sound heard. And it's because the internet is so easy to find shit on. There's just so much shit out there. Yeah. It's like a sea of just. So you're not going to, you got to find a way to beat that monotony, I suppose. But... Yeah. Yeah. Well, they make it hard too, because, you know, like, even if you have fans, like on Facebook, they don't let you they don't let your fans see it anyways you know what i mean like yeah, but... no it's, out of our the, it's like out of our followers we get like 10 people who actually see it or so yeah unless yeah, you're like, out there pushing it that's the only way it's gonna work in yeah, my so just, personal facebook the links everywhere yeah yeah in my personal facebook page there's like what 4700 people mm-hmm mm that I have on my personal Facebook page, but how many people are actually seeing that material? Well, that's yeah. the question. I have no idea. Probably yeah. a fraction, like a very yeah. small fraction. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's yeah, just, and Instagram good... has changed so much too. Yeah. yeah. It really has. Yeah. Instagram, ever since that TikTok thing came out, and TikTok's one I really don't fucking get at all. <laughs> I'm with Matt. you, bud. I haven't fucked with it. Matt's our resident I, I, TikToker. Yep. I throw shit on there. I, like, I throw shit on there just for, you know, a platform, another platform to promo on, but I really don't fucking get that. Mm, I really yeah. don't get that application at all. Um, I have no idea how to navigate it. I have no idea how to, <laughs> I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I upload videos. I don't even use hashtags anymore, man. Like, I, I don't even care. It's just, I upload a video, I throw it on there, it might get a couple hundred views. It's like, whatever, yeah. it's a couple hundred views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh why don't we go ahead and take another quick break and then we'll come back and wrap it up. Cool. Because we got a, yeah. we got an announcement to make. Yep. Double your pleasure, double your fun. That's a statement of a great man in double mint gum. Double your sentiment, your merriment, double your moment for fun. Double your Am I going to the prom with a geek? Please say no. Excellent chance. <laughs> you go to the prom with a geek? Okay, my turn. Do I have a secret admirer? Absolutely. <laughs> he knows everything. Ask Xandar. Wave your hand and he speaks. Guess what he predicts and the winner gets the special fortune red. You will get a phone call about this. <gasps> 
Ask Xandar the talking wizard game. Definitely. Yep. All right. Ken, where can the people find your music? Well, you can find me pretty much on any platform where music can be streamed. Uh, just search under K dot F dot J dot. Uh, you can find the Another Rainbow EP there. Pretty much search any song title that you're aware of, Apathetic or Another Rainbow. Those are the two most popular ones, I think. Um, but anywhere streaming is available. You can find me on Instagram under KFJWho, underscore who. Mm. And I'm also used TikTok, and you know where my Facebook is. Yep. <laughs> the Kenny F page. And, well, obviously my personal one. And yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, there's nothing pressed and released as of yet. It's all just streaming shit at the moment. Mm. So yeah. Down the road, hopefully we'll have something physical. Yeah, down the road. Um, but again, K dot, F dot, J dot. And you can find me on any platform there. There's platforms I'm on I'm not even, I've never even heard of, so. <laughs> Anywhere you can find your music. <laughs> yeah, it, it's all there from Apple to fucking something called Deezer. <laughs> all right. Right on. Hell yeah, man. And it's on any social media platform too. You can find my music to there you go. post your stories, people, if you want to do that. There you go. Yeah. You have his permission. <laughs> go ahead. Spread it around. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> we will for sure. Yep. Now we've got a big guest coming. I've been trying for months. To get oh, a hold of this guy. Stop it. <laughs> Not that big. <laughs> for me, he is. All right. I've been listening to I'm this huge. guy since I was 14. I'm huge you in Guatemala. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no autograph, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're talking about someone else. My bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've already talked to you. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But, get out. <laughs> From the band Bowling for Soup, Mr. Jarrett Reddick himself will be here next week. We're excited. I'm fucking pumped because, like I said, been listening to the guy for 14 years, well, up more, almost 20 years now. But yeah, I'm nervous as shit. Okay, well, you got to ask him one question for me. What's that? Is he bowling to obtain soup, or is he bowling on behalf of soup? Yes. Because both yep. kind of make sense. Because soup can't bowl. Yeah. yeah. And soup goes in a bowl, but it can't actually. And, <laughs> and soup tastes good. So, yeah. yeah. If, if soup is the prize for bowling, then yeah. Fuck so, yeah. You, it's I'd a win win situation, really. Yep. Okay. But yeah, we will definitely ask him that. I actually wrote that down earlier when you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to ask him that because I've wanted to know for years. But yeah, he does. He's he wrote the song for Phineas and Ferb. He voices a couple characters on Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, he's the current voice of Chuck E. Cheese. Fucking, he wrote the theme song for Jimmy Neutron. It, the dude does a lot of shit. He has his own yeah. podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. <clears throat> Always doing stuff on Facebook and Instagram. Mm. So yeah, it's gonna be yeah, a, doing uh, stuff is good. And he'll be here. And of course. Bowling for Soup. If you of love course. the band Bowling for Soup, just tune in and enjoy our conversation with Jared Reddick. Yeah. Do it. Who knows what the hell we're going to talk about? The guy's <laughs> a geek like us. So we're, I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. You look psyched. I can't, I can't say it enough. I, I always look like this. <laughs> 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 Much like Jim Brewer, I just look like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just my face. Now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, Ken, we appreciate you coming on, buddy. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, anytime. Yep, yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely have you back. This is so much fun. We laughed. We <laughs> cried. Talked we, about uh, we, we talked very random things this time. Yeah. That's, that I, seems I, to be I, the I, pattern on the show, Craig. I don't know. This was even more random, though. I know we have a I pattern, but this was... <laughs> I tend to steer things that way. I, I could probably take a little credit for that. That's okay. Anytime I'm on a podcast, things end up very random and confusing. 
No, hey, man. That's what we live for. When we talked to a living hell, that went everywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> they true. were they were quite a few drinks in drinks deep by the end of it. So it was expected to go every direction. And it yeah. went every direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so did we this. That's what good. we aimed to do. Yeah. So yeah. We got Jarrett Reddick next week. Ken, you're doing great shit. Looking forward to yeah. seeing what else you got coming. Yeah, it, it, it's coming. Don't know yep. when, but it'll be coming. Nice. You'll have, yeah. have yeah. merch. Less than me. No, and we'll have some merch from you in the future as well. I know, because that's what yeah. you do. Yeah, you haven't heard the last of me, that's for sure. No, <laughs> hell no. We're excited for what you got coming. Hi guys. So, all right, man. All right, dude. Thanks again, Craig. Thanks for having Matt. me on. Annoyed hates hot quality pizza. He loves to make your hot pizza ice cold. <laughs> Call Domino's Pizza and avoid the noise. <laughs> we keep the cold out and all this quality in. So when you want quality pizza hot and delicious, Domino's Pizza delivers. One call does it all.